Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Hey, this is the video you've been waiting for all, I don't know for how long, we're finally here. We just came back from a great seafood dinner and I'm here with uh, Christopher Mitchell's, uh, I guess, uh, person that he really did scam and he's here to tell the story, talk about it in his own words. It's gonna be unscripted, unedited. I. Like I said, we've been in town for a few, probably about three, four hours. We drove around, uh, had dinner, had dinner with his uh, wife. Me and my wife has been spending some time with them here. We're at his, uh, actually his residence here. We're at an RV park in Port O'Connor, Texas. Um, this little local paper, Dolphin Talk documents. We're here in Port O'Connor. I know you can get these anywhere. I have no reason to sit there and tell you a story. Uh, before we leave, I'll uh, probably show you some type of road or uh, signage or whatever, but we're here and it's totally what y'all have talked about. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about himself, his journey uh, through the gambling. Then we'll get more into the Christopher Mitchell. I'm probably gonna have to do this in a two-part series because of camera time. And then I do have a uh, conference call that I have to take out, take at seven. So we're gonna, not gonna tell you by his name, but we'll just say uh, Trump 24, uh, very proud American and has a lot to say about this thing and give him some, uh, give him a lot of encouragement because this takes a lot of, um, how do I say this? You know, he, he was beat up by this guy, Christopher Mitchell uh, did take, I believe it was 5,000 from him for just meeting him for the weekend. He'll tell you about his trip to Vegas. He met uh, Christopher at the Bellagio where he was staying for the time and he'll tell you a little bit about how much money he lost and the course of how much money he continued to lose playing Christopher Mitchell's losing strategies. Take it away and I won't interrupt you. Well, first of all... Uh, you may have to speak louder and more into the camera. First of all, it was, it was a gamble just even going out to Vegas anyway because I wasn't winning up in Minnesota. I thought I'd give it a shot. I'd been watching some of Chris's videos and it sounded good, right? Yeah, I, I, I figured I, I had to try something else because the way I was doing it just wasn't working. Yeah, that's what most people say. You, you were you were desperate for a way to find a winning strategy, and you had a good sized bankroll from. Oh, I believe I got, you're telling me about yeah, inheritance. Yeah, I got, got inheritance, and I was decided to quit working and was going to try and make it make a living gambling because so, I, so I'd this, get a good streak here and there, but I never could put anything together. So you're talking about a person that was desperately looking for a winning strategy, so he went ahead and believed Christopher Mitchell. I, I don't mean to interrupt him. I'm just trying to set the table. This is the first time he's done this. He's a little nervous, and I'm just trying to walk him through it. So, as you said, he was gambling up in Minnesota. He yeah. decided to take the trip out to Vegas. Yeah, and tell and you. it was a $5,000 gamble that cost me a hell of a lot more than that for following his strategies. I, yeah, there was some alcohol involved, so it, it impaired my judgment a little. I got him away from that and away from his dumbass, but it's... Did you have to pay him right away when y'all when you met him? Did he? Yeah, have... that was the big thing. It was like, well, I in my head I'm thinking, okay, well, we'll wait a minute, let me get down to the table and see how give his give his uh, strategies a, a, a trial run. But he wanted the money up front, so I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. After a few wild turkeys, I go ahead and I hand him over the. Five grand. Five thousand you handed him. Yeah. So then uh, you said you were going to play both Baccarat and um, Blackjack. So uh, the Baccarat, I tried a little bit of that. I I couldn't get the gist of it, the way it plays. I'm used to Texas Hold'em. But I did play Blackjack a lot, so I figured I'd go with his strategies there. And it, it didn't make sense, but it's... What part didn't make sense? Well, I mean, and I think the, I was got the feeling like the, he was working with the casino, like the pit boss was getting money money yeah. out of it because 
Who does the more I would lose, the more they would feed me alcohol, and the more Chris would egg me on. Oh, come on, you got to double down. You got to double on it. You got to double. Keep doubling your bet. You'll you'll hit, and once you start hitting, then you'll get back up. So you before would not be martingaling your bets after a loss. You just how would you do it? Just well, I I was after because I pulled him to the side. I'm like, look, dude, what the fuck? I'm losing all this money. He's like, oh, you got to start doubling. You got to start doubling everything up. Double your bets up. Double your bets up. And I got so deep in a hole. By the time the weekend was over, I was out twenty grand plus the five grand to him. So right then and there, you knew that probably the blackjack strategies weren't working. And and I believe you told me on the phone several times when we were planning this trip that that uh, Christopher told you never split aces, and that just blew your mind. Well, shit, we split aces to me is common sense. You split aces, you hit. Yes. A, even a small card, and the dealer's got a six or less showing. Okay, even if I got an ace and I hit a three or a four, he's only got a five showing, possibly 15, possibly 16. Okay, if I split an ace, I take a hit on each one. I take a hit on this one. If I get a three or four, okay, maybe he beats me there, but if I hit a face card on the other, I double up. So I only lost half a bet. And, and if he can't, the, the dealer can't beat that hand, he pays me double here. If he can't, if he beats that one, or if he hits on and busts, and I win with 14 and he busts on a... But you thought the strategy was kind of really strange when he told you that he uh, had this no bust strategy for blackjack, meaning you don't ever take a card and try to improve your hand and you never split aces. You and him kind of had words that he was telling you, you do it my way, this is the way we're doing it, and you just thought it was kind of weird. And you just dug a big hole for yourself the first Yeah, when then you, you're like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to start going $100 a hand. And then you lose, could have had, you see the guy next to you, he takes a hit, he picks up a three or a four, when that would have gave you 21, and the dealer only had a face, he had a 10, but then he flips over and he busts. I could have freaking, it just it so got me just, so confused and so aggravated that I just kept drinking hard. I wanted to kick his ass by the time I got out of there. But I just so there was away. definitely some frustration going on because you just could not believe in the splitting and you, you're down 20 grand the first night really. So I guess the way you told me, y'all decided you know, y'all call it a night, it was late. You get up early and meet them for, um, try your luck at, uh, what was it, Baccarat y'all tried? Yeah, well, and then what fucking pissed me off is, here, I tell him, deal him out five grand and he's wanting me to buy his fucking breakfast and lunch. Is that right? Unbelievable. He said, oh, I know, this hey, I know this casino, and I thought, okay, well, they're gonna be comping shit. They didn't comp a damn thing. So he wasn't getting all these lavish comps that you saw him portray. No, wow. No, no. That's I, what that's what our like, viewers want to hear about. And then he'd disappear for about an hour, come back to check on me, and no, no, you got to double up. And just as I'm starting to build back up slowly, so I listen to him, and boom, I'm back down to nothing again. So this for another doubling rap. strategy, just you know, eventually you hit a string of bad luck, and it sucked you dry. Yeah, and then I try and. I try and get a hold of him when I get back, and all of a sudden, I'm blocked on his Facebook page. Oh, but that's after you came back to your house. Yeah, but look, yeah. We're, we're going to stick. Yeah, to the I trip. Want, well, We're going to stick to the trip in uh, Las Vegas because you extended the visit for the, the weekend, so you weren't leaving till late Sunday. You came in. Right. You came in Friday, settled into the Bellagio, and you met him Saturday for the first time. He got paid. He got his five thousand dollars for spending the day with them. And, and what you told me is, and, and I'll let you elaborate and confirm this, since you had such bad luck on Saturday, you met Christopher, he said he was going to try to help you recoup your losses Sunday without you having to pay any more money. Why don't you let us, let, walk us through your Sunday and how the meeting finally ended and how you realized what was the final tally you lost on that trip over 40, 40 you lost 20,000? 20, uh, 20,000. 
the first day, another twenty the second. So roughly forty thousand plus the plus five. Plus the five, yeah. And that was uh, money that you really did not have to lose. You were kind of your health was kind of deteriorating. Yeah, and it was that was going to get me through for the next six months. I figured if I could double the twenty, the first twenty, then I could float yeah. that into the bank and then just play with the other twenty. And I walked away with nothing. Walk Plus away. down five grand. Right. And uh, it set you back so much that forty grand because you you left oh. your job. You thought you were going to make this. Ah. Like he told you, you you have such a big amount. You have such a large amount of money. You were going to be able to be a. Uh, a professional gambler like him. Yeah, that was the year's wages down the toilet, and that that caused a lot of marital problems. And they ended you didn't up. Didn't have a job when you got home. No. And when she found out a few months later, when the bills weren't getting paid, uh, that into that marriage. So, so you you had a you lost forty thousand plus the five thousand. Uh, did you see when y'all were playing? I believe you you told me and you can confirm this. I don't want I don't want it to be in my words, but uh, you said when you were mirroring Christopher Mitchell's bets as well when he was sitting there playing with you live, that he was losing just as much money. He was he was flashing cash and he was he said he lost a bunch of money as well. Is that true? He didn't have any more at the table than I did after I was finished. Right, but at at that at that time though. Well, you've seen his videos online where he's talking about being a millionaire and having all this money. I thought I was going to double my money and walk away and sit on my ass for the next year. So, Christopher Mitchell not once left. You said he had to go do a video. Would he tell me about uh, what he probably lost to what you said? You, you said you both walked away with very little. I money. would what guess he lost the five grand. It seemed like I supported his habit for the whole weekend as well as mine. And if I'd have known it was going to end that way, I would have brought my wife with me. Okay. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how, how fast and how quick it went and how, what your expectations were. He, he made a sound since you had this well, bankroll. You think, okay, you think, okay, I got 40 grand. <coughs> I got 20 for one day, 20 for the other. The way Chris talks about it, I'm not going to lose. Right. I'm thinking I'm going to double this. Well, you got that put up, and you start, okay, 20 grand, pull out a thousand. I start with that. Well, shit, that's gone. You pull out another 500, then another 500, and then the next thing you know, that thousand is gone. Well, fuck it. I'll do another thousand and see how that should get me back up on top, doubling, like he said. So I keep doubling, I keep doubling, I keep. And it just, and then with the alcohol mixed in, the poor judgment, thinking, shit, it's got to turn over, it's got to turn around, and it doesn't. Well, tell the viewers, you know, you, you, you know, you, you were roughly down forty thousand dollars plus the five to Christopher. You had uh, thought about, you know, after you watched his videos, I guess you thought this was very doable. You were, he's, he was obviously very convincing to you. Uh, well, I mean, okay, I, I realize hindsight's always twenty twenty. I realize yeah. now, I mean, I don't mean to go you, watch, you watch all these videos and he's showing him winning, he's winning, he's winning, and now that I think back about it, okay, there was times I'd get, start building up, getting up a little. Well, that's what he's showing you. That's what you're seeing. You're not seeing when he's sitting there. Stressing. Stressing out, going to the cage, trying to get another to draw because he just... Went through the last draw that they gave me. So let me ask you this: I'm gonna we'll get back to the gambling uh, also in the second part of this video because we're gonna have to do it in a um, two-part series. So we will be doing a part two of this. I have to start winding it down because we're in a very uh, isolated place with poor internet, and again, I have to take a phone call. But in in the next couple of minutes. How did this, affect, obviously you had a marital issue. We don't want to try to, I don't want to bring you back to that, but the stress and how much it did to your health, you want to share to the viewers a little bit about? Uh, yeah, it's I mean, you very had some stressful, issues. heart attack, uh, blood clots, serious. I've been losing my medical after 
quitting my job. It just all snowballed. And we'll get into this on the second half of the video. And uh, and uh, and I, well, I'm going to stay in touch with this uh, this uh, Christopher Mitchell victim. I don't want to use his first name. We've had a great great day today. Great time. He's doing good. He's doing good, but. It's changed his whole standard of living. He's, uh, we're in an RV park, no complaints. He's happy, everything's going well. He's just trying to share with you the negative impacts that a, that a internet con man can hype up as opposed to what happened in real life when he met this person and what this person's done to his life. And you say, how did that happen? Because it was never, he never, uh, you know, he never told him uh, that these strategies would lose. I mean, not splitting, doubling. We'll talk about the Baccarat strategies. It was basically from what he told me, and he can elaborate more, but playing banker, banker, player in that sequence, and uh, just martingaling every time. And uh, it just wasn't working. He uh, said the Baccarat went a lot, lot, faster money wise because the bets were bigger in Vegas the minimum table was a hundred dollars he told me how much he lost in that he'll share that with you but again they, they stuck to playing blackjack the whole time I mean I say the whole time tell him what you probably lost in Baccarat and you just thought that was a complete scam well, because you were just it was what a guessing game yeah it's like it's, I mean I'm thinking Texas Hold'em strategy and, and it didn't play out that way in this I don't know, any, know anything about the Texas Hold'em strategy and, and the Baccarat well, strategy. He was telling you just to mirror his bets, and you said he was losing, and you were losing, and you kept thinking, I need to stop. Yeah, that's why I stopped. I said, look, motherfucker, if I'm going to do this, you're either going to give me my five grand back or you're going to help teach me how to make this back up on the blackjack table, which never happened. Yeah. So... You watched him. What would you say he lost when you just continued? You, you being the out-of-town client, what do you think you s witnessed him losing? Well, I guarantee he lost everything that I gave him. It was pretty much I financed his weekend. Yeah. Well, we're going to come back to the second part of this video. So we're going to cut the video here, and then we're going to talk more about his trip back home and... Uh, where it's put him at now and what his future plans are. So guys, stay tuned and I'll be back with you for part two.